voice is a fundamental human right. And when we don't allow voice, we take from people their capacity to be their fullest and best. Schools are largely um, still operating in a model that was created for the industrial era, and we are way past the industrial era. When I was younger, before high school, I thought, you know, rows of desks, you know, teacher teaching, apple on the desk type situation, and I even thought that, you know, my freshman and sophomore year in high school, and since yeah, it's, I've really realized that by creating research-based classes and you know, lab-based classes and even some lecture-based classes, you can really create an atmosphere and an environment that tailors to each student and each student's learning abilities and learning styles. Different approaches um, and different ways at reaching individual students because every single person has a different learning style and different ways that they can excel and do well. Students voice is valued and um, that they can really bring and contribute to a, to a learning organization in very profound ways and, and um, that opportunities need to be provided for that to happen. YETS is a, a partnership between students and faculty. Um, really aimed toward improving the learning experience for students in, in schools. I think every school should consider um, looking at having YATS um, as a part of um, what they do and how they do business. And it's very different from other leadership groups. Um, I also um, participate in student government. YATS is very different from student government in that, again, I keep going to that word partnership. If, if it'll, it enables a school to have partnership relationships with students. It facilitates dialogue where teachers and students are really working together collaboratively, which is essential for a school to continue to transform and become what it needs to be. If we don't, I think that we get in a little bit of a routine and a fixed mindset like we were talking about this morning, the way that this is the way things are, this is the way things should stay, and the world doesn't stay in one place, and neither should schools. Because it's not what we do to kids, it's what we do with them. And I think in order to, to do that, it, it has to be a partnership. And there's a lot of adults and teachers who were trained um, not necessarily to involve students in decision making. So really kind of getting them to shift their thinking and having them welcome um, student voices is, is important. more administrative processes like uh, the Curriculum Council has uh, an opening for students now. There's uh, new programs that pop up a lot of the times. Um, they really are looking for student voice to be involved as well. So there's a lot more of that dialogue has been going on even just in the four years uh, that I've been here. Um, in very authentic ways. Students see the benefits and um, some, some real progress in the work that they do towards improved outcomes for themselves. Uh, because we do value that voice here and I think it increases um, student participation, it increases um, how good they feel about belonging to, to Harvard Union and so I think overall it's just a great way to improve your organization. Change looks like teachers noticing when students aren't at the table but could be. It's students saying, please ask me, I have something to say and being involved. And through YATS, we've created more of a positive environment for students, I feel, and also a positive environment for teachers as well. That creates a network um, in Vermont where it's like, wow, I'm not alone. This is not like it's, but it's possible. Other people out there feel the same way and really want things to change. To best prepare young people, we need to shift what their education looks like. And YATS is a process that helps young people be active players as they must be active players in their lives. I know that it will really improve their climate and um, opportunities for both students and adults. Groups I worked with prior to YATS in my school 
were, were good and great. I think people meant really well, but there was just, there was some lack of energy and there was a lack of organization that led to um, things not being done or repetition or a lack of research and reflection on what is being done. I think my greatest takeaway is the importance of um, working collaboratively with students in a way that is equitable as opposed to I think we've always tried to use like a token system. Let's get a student on the committee. Let's, let's ask the students what they think. But instead, my greatest takeaway with YATST is that um, when teachers and students partner together in an equitable way, um, that change really can happen and meaningful change can happen. So. YATST has kind of given me a sense of, I guess, self-empowerment, like, you know, having to um, stand on a more equal footing with some of the adults in the schools is a very uh, empowering thing. Personally for me it really keeps um, me thinking about how important student voice is and when I get to a leadership team meeting or if I get to a meeting and all the adults are you know sitting around talking about what we need to do for kids I need to constantly remind people that there needs to be students at the table um, and I, I think we've done that well at Hazen that we're constantly asking them to come to meetings and to share their voice. My high school career wouldn't be the same without it. Um, it's given me so many chances, so many opportunities, um, and really changed the way I think about um, learning, and I don't think I'd be the same person if I didn't do it. When we give them voice, we let them find that potential and um, realize what they're capable of in the world.